Hey there crafters, welcome back to Gina Z Creates. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make these pencil gift boxes that will be perfect for teacher appreciation week. I made these using my Cricut cutting machine and my SVG file that you can get at GinaZCreates.com. You're going to need some Barely Art craft glue, a pair of scissors and some Cricut tools like the scoring stylus and scraper and then your choice of cardstock that you want to pick for your pencil box, and then a sheet of acetate. I have a link in the video description where you can download my free pencil template, and it comes as a zip folder, so you will need to right click and unzip, and inside you will find the four different art files along with my free license. We are gonna be using the SVG file, so we're gonna open up Cricut Design Space first, and go to upload and we are going to go to our downloads folder and find the svg file type it might display as an internet icon html doc so you're just going to upload that file and make sure it is sized at 20 by nine and a half inches and then we're just going to ungroup and then you can see all the layers on the right in the layers panel and then for the two groups at the bottom we are just going to do the arrow drop down so you can see the two layers it has the bottom base which is the orange for the pencil box and you can change the color up in the color swatches and i am just going to make a blue pencil box and then right here we have the sleeve and this is just the insert that um, goes on the bottom of the box. So it can just be a liner, it's totally optional. And then we have the sheet of acetate and I'm just gonna leave that a light blue. And then we are gonna select these cut lines that I have inside um, the group for the boxes and change them to score lines. And after you change them to score lines, you can select the whole group and hit attach. And then your box is basically ready to cut. And then you can save your project so you don't have to repeat these steps again. And then we can move on to cutting each of our mats. I am going to cut on Cardstock Plus and just don't forget to load in your scoring stylus on the A clamp. And then I am using a standard grit mat. Just make sure your standard grit mat is not brand new and super sticky because it's hard to work with cardstock. You could just use the light grit mat or you can use a dulled out standard grit mat and that's what I like to use. And to take off your cardstock, you're just gonna flip over your mat and bend it back and keep your cardstock nice and flat so it doesn't curl when pulling it off. And once we have all the layers cut out, we can now begin to assemble I'm going to start with the bottom box um, layer, which doesn't have the window on it. And I'm just going to use a straight edge to fold over all the score lines. They all fold over towards the inside of the box. And then once we have everything scored, I'm going to take my Barely Art craft glue and then I'm just going to add some craft glue to the tabs. And then I am just going to join them to the box. And then I'm gonna make sure I hold it down for um, a couple of seconds so it can dry before I move on because you don't want it to pop off from the piece. You wanna make sure it's nice and secure and dried onto your box shape. And then you can close up the other end and then hold it to make sure it dries. And then we can add our inside liner. And this is totally optional. Um, you can leave it out if you want to, but I like to give the inside liner uh, a different color. But if you're using like shredded paper on the bottom, I, I don't think you really need it. So it's totally up to you on how you want to design and create your box. So next I'm moving on to the top of the box and I am just folding over all the tabs like I did the bottom. But before I put it together, I am going to add glue around my window and then place over the acetate. And I'm gonna make sure it's nice and center where my score lines can still fold and it's not blocking it from uh, folding over. And then we can just add our glue to each of the tabs and then we can hold it shut to make sure 
that it's dried completely. And for the point of the pencil box, I like to make sure I do the angled sides first and then I'll close up the point of the box last. And then our top box is done. And now we can add on our decorations to the top. So you could just start at one end for the eraser side and then glue down the little metal brackets. And then you can move on to the other end and add your little zigzag um, pencil shavings along with the pencil point and you're pretty much done. You can just fill it with your choice of a gift and add the lid over the box and close it up. And you can also add any vinyl things to the top. You can personalize it with teacher's names. Uh, it's totally up to you. I just wanna show you a little cute gift idea. You can fill it with the shredded paper and then add pencils or pens, markers, any school supplies that they may need and then just close it up and you can tie some ribbon around it. I found all these at the Dollar Tree. They have a cute selection of ribbons and shredded paper. And then I also have these printable thank you tags that you can use for Teacher Appreciation Week. I'll also leave that link for you in the video description. And you just tie it on and now you have a cute little pencil box gift that you can send to your child's teacher. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. You can make so many different color pencil boxes and fill them with different things for each day of the week. So let me know what you guys think of these down in the comments and you can grab all these supplies um, at the links below.